you beat my best? Can you beat my best news, my friend? Come here. Yeah, can you beat that news? I am. What do you think of Jesus, my friend? Jesus, yeah. What do you think, madam? What did you say? Did you say he's for something? Why do you, why do you say that about Jesus? But why is it? What 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 makes it rubbish to you? Why do you say Pardon? Listen, Jesus Christ came into this world and he rose from the dead. Now if you can give me any better news than that, then well fair news to you. But it's raining now, the rain's come out. But why? You can't just say that without not to do a drive-by and stick your fingers up at me. Tell me why you say that, madam. If you can give me some more hope, then I'll listen to that. But I'm telling you today that the God who loves you, the God who is given to the cross, the Lord Jesus Christ, and you died on that cross, and he's forgiven. It's raining a lot, but I'll tell you, I'd rather stand out here and tell you that somebody could beat your grave than let you go onto your grave without knowing God. What did you say, madam? Yeah, but you, what, what, what happens when you step into that grave, Martin? Normally, you might fall into them. You fall into them, yeah, but are you, do you know where you're going when you die, sir? It's a big question, isn't it? You know, we live our lives like we're safe. What about Israel? Israel a month ago, were they? They were all safe, walking around on the streets. They went to shops like this, they drank coffee like you do. They do all these different things, and then what happens? Pain hit them. Gaza now is in pieces, and we think that we're safe. The Ukraine, we think that we're safe, but the reality is we don't. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. And I'm telling you about a God who wants to save you and wants to give you eternal life. We've all got a friend who died far too young. Am I right? Am I wrong when I say that? Every single one of us knows someone who died before we, they should have died, really, don't we? And yet Jesus says He can give you a hope beyond the grave. Is there anyone you know who died? and on the third day rose from the dead. Because if you know someone like that, I'd like to meet that man. Because that man obviously can change lives. And that is why I put my trust not in Muhammad, not in Buddha, not in Attila the Hun, not in Elvis, not in Michael Jackson. I put my trust in Jesus Christ because he is the only one to raise himself back from the dead. Do you believe in Jesus, sir? You do, my friend. He's not in here. He's not ashamed to own Jesus in the streets. I wish there was more people in Britain, more people in Wigan, who stood up for the Lord Jesus Christ. Every day there are people here who breathe his air. Every day there's people who drink his water, eat his food, and they don't give God the second thought. They don't even say thank you to him. But one day you'll stand before this God, and the Bible says that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You can ignore him all of your life, but when you stand before him, I promise you one thing, you will not ignore him there. And all those people who said, I reject Jesus Christ, what will he do to you? That, that, that gentle Lord Jesus who we celebrate in the manger, who at Christmas time, many of you, you celebrate, that gentle Jesus will come back as a warrior Jesus. And he'll cast those who turned away from him, rejected him, into hell for all of eternity. And that's why I'm standing here on a rainy day, because I do not want anyone to go to hell. Believe it or not, I love you. I know you might think this tree preacher is off his tree. And maybe I am a bit mental. But I'm telling you right now, I love you and I don't want anyone to go to hell because Jesus died on the cross and he went and took your hell on the cross. All of your sin, past, present and future, all of your lies, all the rotten things you've done, the shameful things you've done, all of it was laid on Christ. The weight of your sin was put on him. And on the cross, the Lord God crushed Jesus Christ in your place. The Lord God put all of your sin on Jesus. You should have been on that cross. But Jesus said, no, I'll die in their place instead. Now you have a choice. It's a gift. Just like at Christmas time, you can choose to reject, re reject a gift. It won't be forced on you. Well, so eternal life through Christ, it's a gift. You can choose to reject it, or you can choose to receive it. I wonder what you'll do with that message today. I wonder if you'll consider the Lord Jesus Christ, or you'll keep living your life and arrogantly ignoring him. As I said just before, you won't ignore him one day. When you wake up, you'll meet your God. When you face your, breathe your last breath, you'll see the one who made you, and he'll ask you, why did you reject my son? Please consider these things. Anyone wants to come and chat to me, God bless you all. Hope you have a great evening.